Hello guys and welcome to episode 34 of the Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke and today's episode we're going to be going to Victory Road but first a team recap because after 4 hours of painstakingly annoying just painful grinding I said pain so many times in that sentence it was just so painful for me that's why we haven't had a video I've been grinding for like the last couple of days and that was just today by the way the 4 hours just today I've been grinding off and on um last couple of days but first we have Chris um you might have noticed that we renamed it last episode and then we just renamed it again. It's going to be renamed a thousand times, but it has Waterfall, Ice Fang, Bite, and Dragon Rage. Amazing moveset for an amazing Pokemon. Let's hope this Gyarados doesn't die. Then we have the legendary Steve. Steve is holding a stick because after 20 minutes of me thiefing all the far fetches I could find, I got the stick finally, and I'm just happy with that. It has Slash, Night Slash, Fly, and Sword Dance. Amazing moveset. I wish I could not have fly, but I have to have fly. Also, also it's a Terminator. I almost learned an ill slash, but I was like, no, 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 no. Get that trash out of here. But I regret it now. Then we have Brian on Magnanium. Nothing new. Just level 39 now. 39? I thought I only went up to level 38. Oh, I only went up to level 38 on my two new Pokemon. AKA Chris and Steve. Um, we have Hilliot at level 39. Nothing new. Again. Pam at level 39. With nothing new. Wow. Just amazing. And then we have Patrick with, guess what? Nothing new. But he does have the amulet coin. Uh, let's first put berries on Pokemon because I will forget. Uh, actually, if you want to know something I was also doing, today I actually was hoping I could get these um, done, but no. Um, I have a Pasho berry plant and a walk on berry planted. And then I have two more of something, I don't know what, with full, um, fertilizer. So I quickly gave everyone a berry. Um, Chris got a walk on berry. Pam got a pasture berry, also I didn't grind anywhere above the house, including this trail, so yeah, it took me a while. Since you came this far, you must be good. I'm gonna give you this battle everything I've got, or I'm gonna give this battle everything I've got. Um, Pam got a pasture berry, Chris has a walk on berry, and I changed Hypno's, I believe, Cassid berry to a uh, Kobo berry, so I can take a uh, dark type attack. Just some minor changes, items, um, same items as before. Um, Shouts to Chris, by the way. Also. Luckily, I gave it to Walking Berry. If I stayed on to this, would have died. Um, shout out to Chrisman. He has given me permission that it is not terrible to name him after a female Magikarp. I, I, I'm sorry for renaming that Pokemon thousands of times. Multiple times I've went to the name radar and I have asked them to turn on battle animations and they just don't listen to me. I just don't understand. First of all, I just want to point out we're almost to Victory Road, aka the last place in Johto, and this person had a Pikachu. Just want to point that out. Um, I, I know there's like five trainers above, and then, actually I think there's five more trainers, I think there's one, two, three, maybe only four, actually maybe only four. Hmm. I really hate that I didn't turn on battle animations. Just imagine like, whoa. I thought I killed. Um, right now, I don't have my glasses on because my glasses are bothering me. I knew, I said I was going to get new glasses and everything. And I left them in the car because my old glasses have been doing perfectly fine. And then when my glasses stop bothering me because they're so uneven, I'm like, oh, I wish I had my new glasses. And I don't have it. So I'm recording blindly. Like everything. Like, it looks like this is like a Switch game. It looks in HD and everything because I'm just so blind. Everything's just magical blood. Uh, talking about Switch games. We can just turn on battle animations. That's what I was doing. Talking about Switch games, I played the Dragon Quest 11, I believe it's called. Um, it's Et's I, so I think it is 11. But I don't know my Roman numerals, so don't judge me. Actually, I do know them, so actually you can judge me all I want if I'm wrong. But they have a demo out, and the demo is like 10 hours long, I thought. And I'm only around 5 hours done with it? It's a long demo, and I'm having a decent amount of fun. I think I would have had more fun and more opinion, like a positive opinion, if I set the battle style or the battle mode to sit camera and to the classic, or uh, uh, no, not to classic, classic camera actually, and to follow orders, telling everyone to follow orders so I can manually do it. Pretty much a double battle on Pokemon so far. Wait, other than a green, a victory bell. I was hoping these trainers would be a little bit more tougher, so when I went up here to like, you know, 
going into this episode, I'll be like, oh wow, we have tough trainers. I love a couple of trainers. This is not just going to be one battle and that's it. Because Victory Road only has one battle. The battle is your endurance to Victory Road. That's the battle. Talking about battling, I actually haven't checked my YouTube today other than once in the morning. That's bad. Actually, I need to actually fix that. I, I don't check my YouTube a lot. Like, uh, I know I've said this multiple times. I have two channels. I have one channel where I subscribe to literally everyone. I don't kill. I just subscribe and then I watch the content if it pops up. Um, I have I have had it for years. It's all my recommendations. And I don't want to transfer like 400 subscriptions over to my main channel. Or over yeah, to my main channel, to so this channel. So I just keep that one and use that one in a different browser. Um, I still use this one to watch content, obviously. Like... It's just that the main one when I actually like, I always open that one first and I barely open the other one. Like I check it maybe once or twice a day and it's it's a big issue, but he has a flow on, shots to flow on. Uh, we can go out to Chris. I am severely regretting not going up there to grind. But I know these trainers, oh, talking about grinding. I went back and battled Youngster Joey in both. I do wish I went up here. I 100% wish. I love um, Flareon's um, sprite in this game, by the way. Like, this is one of the top tier sprites. They've ruined Flareon, in my opinion, in Generation 6 and above. Just my opinion. It looked way better, especially the shiny form. But what can you do about it? They're obviously not going to change it. And it's, oh, 1920. Why do I keep getting that much money? Oh, you're tough. I haven't battled this still. I really wish I went up here. Maybe he would have called me. Maybe we could rebattle. This is one thing I'm hopeful. When I ever play Gen 4, I'm going to be using the Force of Seeker to grind all day. Like, that's going to be a pleasant experience. I'm going to have so much money. I'm going to have so much levels. I'm making my final preparations for the Pokemon League. Thank you for telling me that. Because I'm going to end your preparations. You're going to be regretting that you've ever made a preparation to go up against me. A pair second. Talking about me regretting not going up here to grind, I don't. Also, oh, that was three trainers, so yeah, I was right about the five because I know there's only one. I think there's only one more, and that's by Victory. Oh, yeah, Victory Road entrance where they check all your badges and everything. Okay, that was a crit, and that didn't do anything. I was like, if that's a crit, that might kill. No, it won't. Also, funny enough, I'm not even using my big screen to watch this battle and or watch my game. Actually, watching, looking at my second monitor, which is like a small TV. Big point. Oh, well, someone's gonna have a Jordi on. I can tell you that for a fact. Uh, we can go to Brian. Go, Brian. Yeah, I, I think how I'm gonna do this. By the way, if you're new, I've been saying this that I don't want Kanto to be the main focus on my channel because Kanto, Kanto has a lot of grinding in it. Um, I might not, I might have only beaten like some of Kanto once and never fully, um, but Kanto has like level 14s in the wild. What? It, well, why? Why Game Freak? But that's preventing me from thinking about continuing on my path to... No, I'm going to be continuing this let's play, obviously. I'm about thinking about doing, changing it back to my old schedule where I do it every other day and then maybe I have showdown content. In between, I love making showdown content. I love making this, unless I have to grind. Uh, okay, go duck. Well, that was lucky. If they sent out like a Magmortal, a Reshiram in Generation 4, whoa, that would have been some wild stuff. And talking about more Pokemon stuff, I've been playing Pokemon Poke MMO on my uh, Mitzel. Um, I'm thinking about going between Mitzel and Twitch. I know I said I don't like Twitch's policies, or the bias system. Also, yeah, there was five trainers. I was right. 200 IQ. Uh, I lost a, I lost to a red hair. Can we just ignore this? She has a rapid dash, by the way. I remember this person always having a rapid dash. There's something that always sticks you, sticks with you in um, Pokemon, and this rapid dash did nothing to me. It was completely easy, but for some reason. This Rapidash has stayed in the back of my mind for all of eternity. Chris used Waterfall. It's pretty amazing. 
But I've been having, um, I've been playing Pokemon MMO on my Mitchell slash Twitch. I actually haven't done it on my Twitch. I'm hoping I can do it tonight. It's 5.20, by the way. And I'm recording because after my four hours of grinding, I was like, oh, I've had too much Pokemon. Level 39, by the way. Great, great, great. On par. Now we have to use Steve. Steve, you're not going against this Flaffy. I can tell you that for a fact. Uh, Tam. But, um, I, I just want to stream and I want to see how I can get into it. Because I have a feeling when Soul and Show comes out, if I remotely like the games, like, if I like the online portion, which I didn't like the online section in Sun and Moon, it was just pretty much well, online section. I'm in battle spot. Um, if I remotely like the online quote quote and Soul and Show, which looks uh, way better than Sun and Moon ever did. I know I'm going to put thousands of hours, no I'm not, um, I'm actually going to put hundreds of hours and potentially a thousand hours into it. My most played game was probably like Ed's and Wine, I probably put like a thousand and a half. So you've really got a balancing, a challenging tr 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 cranial. Why do I not have my glasses on? I can't read this. And if you want to know how far I'm, I'm away from my um, monitor, I'm like a foot and a fourth. So, or two feet and a fourth of foot. So. Yeah, so for like two feet and four inches. Oh no, that's one thought. No mind, it's three inches. No mind. Complete idiot right here, but I'm gonna go back to kill. But like I was saying, I want to learn how to live stream, so I've been live streaming over there. So if you want to follow me, it's mitzel.com slash digiedge on Mitzel. Um, on Twitch, it is twitch.tv slash digiedge TV. And you can actually view my, um, my original planned mascot change. That I was talking about in like episode nine, episode eight, something like that. I know I was in Goldenrod when I was talking about it. Dude, we've been we made so much progress. It just feels like it was months ago. Wow. Wow. That actually, it actually does feel like a month ago. But we are in Kanto. Oh, we're not in Kanto. Oh, well, we're, we're in Kanto, but we're going on to the Indigo League. Indigo Plateau. Victory vote. Yep. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Jojo. Please go on and write it through. Please. Thank. No. Oh, yeah. First encounter. Let's get this. Victory road. More like victory. Hell. No, really. I've, I've already... I need my glasses off this. No, I don't. But we can get our first encounter on here. I think they're all going to be dupes, so we're going to have to run away from every dupes encounter. By the way, I was thinking about recording this section of the video and then going into this cave and just grinding, because those level 30s now, by the way. Also, talking about my levels, I'm going to give my reasoning of why I did everything. Also, we have Sophia in the bots. Shout out to Sophia. Um, I grinded everyone up to level 39, not because that's what I'm going to go into the level 4th. But mostly because that's what I think Silver is going to have, or Rival, I think he has like level 40s, 42, and I don't want to be over leveled with that. And also, I wanted to be in this cave. This cave right here has higher level Pokemon. So that means more experience points. Also, that means Dolphin with Bath. Bell at Daphine. Shouts to her. Bathwater. The Fanfy. Just don't know why I named it that. Talking about cringe names. <laughs> that's actually cringe. Like, there's no doubting it. It's... Maximum cringish. And me just saying cringes, just maximum cringe again. A po Okay. Why why do I feel like I'm getting trolled? You walk into the victory road and you're like, oh I'll force the counter. And then you're like, oh wait a minute, I just found that potion before. Why is it just a potion? Or why is it not a super potion? Maybe even a hyper potion or a forest or Oh, Matt's potion. I know it was right in front of your face, but the game was like, no. We don't kill. Oh, you you think you dissolve it in a super potion? No, no, no. You get a potion, a regular potion. Honor should be part dragon. Just want to point that out. Imagine, still dragon, the stilettes. And all this rock or dragon. Rock? The first dragon rock type. Fun fact, we've got um, our first non-legendary, well let's not go for that, our first non-legendary dragon and steel type, so Diago is the first one, in generation 8, but we have not gotten a rock dragon type yet, and since that was our dragon for this game I think, 
Actually, we don't know. We don't have our pseudo, so maybe it's different. Can I just do this? But um, Rock Dragon. It just is an interesting type. I feel like it could be so much, so much of an offensive physical type. Because Dragon, you got like Outrage, you got Dragon Claw, and then Rock, you have Stone Edge, Rock Slide. Pretty strong moves. You can give it Dragon Dance, it could become a T Tar pretty much. Uh, let's just throw Pokeballs at it now. Let's throw Ultra Balls, not Pokeballs. But I just don't understand why they think, oh, Rock Dragon. I feel like that's the one they think, like, I think those saving types, like, unique type combinations. Also, you should stay in that Pokeball. Because they think more people, or people would potentially be more hype for the games in the future. If they have new types uh, added, like two new type computations. So like Fire Grass, we don't have a Fire Grass type yet. Um, maybe in Generation 8 they introduced Fire Grass, and the next game they introduced Dragon Rock. And then again, they, uh, and then they might be like, oh wow, these people will obviously enjoy this bug one. And unique type, it offers a much more unique experience. But I feel like they should just give us all the types. <laughs> more, more for more for more. What am I saying? I'm tired, by the way. I woke. I only had six hours of sleep, and I know that's like, oh, you only had six hours of sleep. I only get four. Well, um, I usually get like eight, and I woke up like I have a dead sleep. What stuff? On its three rock snake Pokemon, it twists and scrums through the ground. It thunders roar of its tunning echoes along the way. Give a nickname to the Onnets. Well, do we have a name for you? We have... Uh... Anna. Okay, sorry, the dog's just barking. I don't know which part I cut off. Cut up. Of course, I'm going to be cutting this up. This episode's going to be cut up. Anna? Is that a bad name? That's not a bad name. But I don't know why. I was thinking of on button, and it's like, oh, just add an A to that. We're going to actually make it look like a name. It's like Anna, but instead of A, ah, it's O. It's like, whoa. That should have named it Wona. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we can heal our magnanium. If I have to go back to heal, because I don't have a pill, I say, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad. Got four heals. Luckily, I do. This can be a decently long episode. Just notice that. Totally worth it. My first episode back, I'm obviously not going to be making frog. I'm throwing a repel up. <laughs> that just popped in the back of my mind. Uh, I love to throw a super repel up. Yeah, I'm sorry. My mind's probably all over the place here. Um, I did try to keep consistent in what I'm talking about. I've been talking about what I've been doing. Booking MMO and the Dragon Quest demo. And between that, I was doing absolutely nothing. I was being the laziest person you've ever seen. If if you talked to me during those couple days, you would have been like, well, this person, he barely can talk. He just is being so lazy that, what's over here? There has to be something unique over here. It's an item. But one of these items is a dark boss. But I know which one's dark boss, actually. It's behind three breakable rocks. Some information you just never lose in your head. And that's one of my information that I've never lost. It's funny. It's just so much stupid stuff I remember. And then it's like, oh. What's this? How do I progress? It's funny, actually. Um, I suck at progressing in video games. So talking about that Dragon Quest demo, I got stuck. I had to look up a guide. I suck at navigation. <laughs> it's just like, oh. Well, at least I can remember stuff that Rock definitely has an item on it. If you don't have an item on it, my name is not Edge. Two mats revives. They're warning me. End of the Nuzlocke is coming. Losing two Pokemon already. Actually, I didn't feel like the end of the Nuzlocke is going. I'm going to grind to level 44, 45. Um, how does that sound? I know Lance has level 50, so I'm hoping I'll be on par. Especially since I'm using um, weak Pokemon and then Steve. So, it's pretty unfair to my Pokemon to let them die. And I just I don't want to put all the like burden on like Steve. Steve will get overwhelmed and everything. Also, there's an item up here. I just have to press this one time. Just tap it. Just a little tap. Just, just pop. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I actually don't know how that sounds, and I was being careful. I just touched the microphone. Strength. I should have said Pam's strength, but nope. English. Then again, my English is terrible, and I, that's probably not correct. Just kill you on. Just first edit out the video if you made it this far. Well, imagine 
having bad sense. I'm so used to Pokemon MMO, with Poke MMO, which is just garbage. Poke MMO is actually garbage. The way it controls, there we go. It actually feels unnatural, and I hate it. Like, it feels like it's a garbage implementation of this game. Then again, that might, why is this? Oh, we don't have Rock Smash, we can't get Dark Pulse. I mean, it's not like my team needs it anyways. Let's look at my team. I mean, it would be nice for Hilliard, I guess. But I think Hilliard's literally the only one that can get Dark Boss. Eh. You really doing this? Please tell me I take the right hole. I think I did. Got an HP up. I'm talking about... Okay, I'm gonna just, just give you guys a plan. I'm thinking about buying a face cam. I have the worst hygiene ever. Okay, worst hygiene. Huh. Well, that too, but. I actually don't know how to say this. Well, I obviously look ugly, but. Unkept. Unkilled for. That's 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 what I can say. I, uh, my heel, like everyone, absolutely. Oh, rock smash. Oh, really up. My heel on my head. On my entire head, yeah, on my head. Uh, it's just garbage. Unkept for. And I like it that way. I just don't know if that's going to be good for the camera. I know um, when you're streaming, people like that. I don't know. I was looking into um, equipment you should buy. Because I didn't know if I had to buy a mitzel or anything. Which I probably do have to buy. Oh, not have to buy. I just want to improve quality. Like, if I'm making content on the internet, I would like it to be in the highest quality possible. At least audio-wise. Um, I personally can sit through something that, like, has okay video quality or like pretty bad but okay listenable audio and if it does not have listenable audio i won't sit through it like there's so many let's plays where i had to actually manually adjust the eq and everything we're leaving steve steve the legendary pokemon let's do it i actually had a feeling that steve was gonna die this episode but look at him but yeah i don't know what i was talking about oh eq yeah some um, some let's plays I actually had an eq because the voices was so overpowered under that yeah, overpowered by the game audio it just was unbearable and it just I, I don't understand why people can't balance audio correctly especially when you are in part 80 of your series you should know by then how to like balance it but personal issues aside let's get started hold it are you gonna go challenge the Pokemon League victory road is at the, uh, victory road is at the it's in for sure but did you notice? You don't see any real trainers on this way, did you? Man, they was all spineless. Well, the fact you've come this far means you're not one of them, but the journey ends here, because right here, right now, I will crush you. Okay, Dave. What could I say? I don't know what to say. It's gonna make a bad joke, but he leaves with Sneasel. This is the worst play ever. I love how Thoris is... Oh. I might have overgrinded. I know Lance is level 50s. <laughs> Please don't play me. Uh, I'm going. I should have looked at the levels. Well, I should have looked at the levels. Oh no, I went by memory. The funny, thing, funny thing is, is that I can't go by memory in the next episode or the next uh, in Kanto, because I have never completed Kanto, and my Kanto journey is a blur for my previous playthroughs. But that's not gonna do anything. Fang attack. Um, the special physical split did help Sneasel so much. Fun fact. Because eventually Sneasel was special and special. And Sneasel has like base 45 special attack. Well, this is like 115 speed and 95, maybe higher. I don't know if it actually has higher attack than speed. But he has a level 40 as Typhoon. You know what this means? You might be like, oh, why Why are you getting kind of mad about this? Why? I just level 40 type version. Because this is ace. Which means that I overgrinded to the maximum amount. I didn't even remember correctly. I'm mad. I'm mad at myself. Disappointed in myself. The Ron Trainer of Victory Road. Victory, trainers, Victory Road's only trainer. And I over prepped for it. Over grinded. I could have went in this, like, in this cave without grinding and be okay because I would have been at, like level 37 in a couple months ah, I, don't I, I, I don't want to get spoiled that's one thing I actually have an issue with 
is that even though I played this game, I don't remember most of it. And the stuff I do remember, I'm pretty confident in. And now I might be misremembering about Lance's. Maybe it's like level 40s and like one level 50. And I'm gonna be over. I'm going to level 44. That's it. 44. That's it. No 45. No 46. No 50. I'm going in though, because I am a man. And by a man, I am a man child. Uh, we have nothing for this. Patrick, now I'm happy I overgrinded. I have nothing for this. Wait, where did you even get Earthquake? Isn't it in this cave? Or well, Thunder Wave, that's an issue. I thought Earthquake was always in Victory Road. Is not Dark Pulse and Earthquake in this cave? And I don't know about Earthquake. Why do I remember Dark Pulse? Because I had an Umbreon. I remember giving Umbreon that move and I'd be like, Oh, finally a great move for Umbreon! Not realizing that Umbreon is a defensive monster. Because when you're young, you don't... You don't... But when you're unexperienced, there we go. When you're unexperienced with Pokemon, you would think just throwing attacking, attacking moves on Pokemon is a good idea. Go back. I get outplayed. Brick, brick. Okay. That's gonna do something. That just did a lot more than I thought would. I thought it was gonna do less than that. Uh, here we go. We have a pretty well balanced team, in my opinion. Actually, this might be going out tomorrow. Think about how much I have to edit, and I actually might have to go in like an hour. There's no one here. They'll just bucket nothing. I have to keep telling them stuff that. And you guys barely can hear it, probably. Hopefully. Um, people are moving in, so. They're just throwing a fit. Oh. No, please quit doing this. Why is this level 38? Being an amazing player takes skill and dedication to the art of power usage. Siding? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna master up Barry Mastering. Predicted that he would have crunch. I totally did not know he didn't have a Weavile. He might have a Weavile. Actually, this might do a decent amount now. Okay, that did nothing. And he get a flinch. Of course he did. Why would he not get a flinch? What, what kind of game am I playing? I'm playing a game where I have the legendary Pokemon called Steve. Steve, come in here. You have a stick. Look at that stick. I love Farfetch. Farfetch is one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. If you would say, what is my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon besides the evolutions? Right here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You not- Why is you so slow, Steve? You're Terminator, you should be fast. Do not be confused. You are not confused. You are confused, so of course. I didn't use Steve doing running. It got one-shotted almost, and I got scared. It's actually- Whoa! Let's not do that. Let's go out to Chris. Because I do count when I die in um, grinding as a death. I just have been really careful. Like, I've been- Like, especially since there was a house there. I literally, like, anytime my Pokemon went below half HP, I went up there and rested it. Isak. He missed. Okay, thankfully I outspeed. This Golbat put in the walk. I'm now I'm happy I'm overloaded up. This Golbat would have obviously swept me. The Specs got- no, it's not Specs. That sounds like a thing. I actually do want to use Honto on the OU Lado. Just for fun. Like, I know Honto over Gengar. Absolute trash. There's no reason to use Honto over Gengar. But just fun to you. I like weird stuff. Which means I want to record a show every day. I outspeed this. Okay. If I didn't outspeed that and he had Thunderbolt and got crit, I might have died. Actually, might have died. I definitely would have died. I actually might have died to a Thunderbolt. Because, um, Welcome Berry makes it two times effective instead of four times effective. But then again, we are a legendary Pokemon called. Well, I was gonna say Helicop, but Helicop is no longer with us. Uh, but Chris. Gyarados. Why does this outspeed? Talking about Hunter, here it is. Here it is. This is the Specs Gengar. Gengar? Specs Hunter I was gonna use. Actually, I was gonna use like more of a defensive if I like it, just for fun. I have two um, sets, like one defensive, one offensive. <sighs> Why can I go out to. Is this my best Pokemon for this? My, actually, my best Pokemon for this is actually Steve. Steve, come and show you them why you are Steph. Stevan. I actually had a, um, a person that I knew back in like middle school, like I think early middle school, named Steve or Stefan. And back then, 
I do have a speech issue. If you did not, I do have a speech impediment or whatever. Something wrong with my speech. That's why I cannot pronounce things clearly and everything. Um, but he just crossed. He just taunted on me. Steve killed him. But I couldn't say Stefan at the time for some reason. Like, I could not pronounce it. And for some reason, I can do it now. I haven't practiced. So I, I called him Steve. And yeah. Fun facts. This is why this guy's named Steve. No, obviously not because I think he has a stick. And he's Stefan, not Steve from Minecraft. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That cult still affects me. Imagine if I was at low HP. A cadabra. Cadabra, bra, 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 I see, it seems like it's not just luck that got you to you this far. Well, yeah, it's not just luck. It is called being skilled, which includes luck, Mr. Dave. Wait, is his first name Rival and his last name Dave? Top 10 questions that are definitely answerable, and the answer is no, but reflect. He's playing my strats. How long has this been going for? 34 minutes? Perfectly acceptable in my opinion. Perfectly acceptable. Going by this, the next, um, the... <laughs> you are, you are what, you are too strong. But you haven't lost yet. I understand English. Oh, thank you for missing Brian. Just feel like, did you see that neck? He went for disabled and his, he just moved his neck. Like, 90 degrees, just like, oh, you missed. That's what happened. That's definitely what happened. Whoa, Steve. Nope. Brian went up to level 40. Thank you. Makes running a lot more easier. <gasps> okay, we gotta think about this. Is Pedal Dance worth it? Base 90 versus base 60. Pedal Dance is useful for grinding. I just wanna point out. But no, it's actually garbage. For the lap 4 coming up. Like, I might regret getting rid of Pedal Dance somewhere. But I don't think I will regret. I think I'll have less regret. I think I'll have more regret not learning light screen. What you possess? What? Uh, that the Dragon Trainer said to. Oh, money. Oh, yeah, because we sent out Patrick. I haven't developed. I haven't. Whoa, English. I haven't been. Can I speak? I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm gonna find out why I can't win and become stronger when I do. I'll challenge you. I'll beat you down with my power. <laughs> Until then. Leave dramatically off screen by walking as slow as the sun. Did you buy me something? Did you buy me a victory trophy? Because I. Hello, hi Edge. I found you for item. This better be a victory trophy. I better be getting like a focus band. I would actually throw a focus band on a Pokemon and just play to the RNG gods that I use it. It's not consumable, it just stays on though, and it's a chance. Focus band is like one of those items that I actually try to use. Like back in Hawkgold and everything. And I just never used it. Oh, it's a focus slash she gives me. Maybe it was a Hawkgold. Oh, no, I think it was actually um, Platinum when I tried to do that. Then again, I might transfer over, to, over. Because Platinum was the first game where I played around with GTS and Trade Evolutions. Because I actually had the ability to trade back between me. Because I had a, um, two DSs. Oh, I can't check. Well, we did it. Shout to Steve. And, well, we need the episode here. 48 minutes probably of an episode power, but we had an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode because I'm gonna say episode again. Actually, no. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke. If you do, if you if you do, yeah. If you did enjoy this episode of the Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke, you press the like button. But if you dislike it, press the dislike button. I did ramble and said episode 3,000 times, like I said, episode. And well, you made it to the end of the video and you watched it all the way through. You obviously like my content enough to subscribe because I'm not gonna quit anytime soon. And well, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day, night, or wherever you are, but goodbye.